The power to heal lies within each of us. Our bodies and souls possess an innate wisdom that, when tapped into, can lead to remarkable recoveries from various ailments. This ancient knowledge, passed down through generations and across cultures, offers a holistic approach to health that goes beyond treating symptoms. It addresses the root causes of disease by considering the interconnectedness of body, mind and spirit. In this video, we'll uncover nine powerful methods that can help you activate your body's natural healing abilities. 1. Meditation and Mindfulness Meditation and mindfulness are powerful tools for healing that have been used for thousands of years. These practices involve focusing your attention on the present moment, allowing you to step back from the constant chatter of your mind and connect with a deeper sense of peace and clarity. By regularly engaging in meditation and mindfulness, you can create a state of calm within yourself that allows your body's natural healing processes to work more effectively. When you meditate, you activate the parasympathetic nervous system, often called the rest and digest system. This state is the opposite of the stress response and is where healing can truly take place. In this relaxed state, your body can direct more energy towards repair and regeneration. Blood pressure lowers, digestion improves, and inflammation decreases. Over time, regular meditation can even change the structure of your brain, increasing gray matter in areas associated with learning, memory, and emotional regulation. 2. The Ayurveda Technique Ayurveda, which means the science of life in Sanskrit, is an ancient healing system that originated in India over 5,000 years ago. This holistic approach to health considers each person as a unique individual with a specific constitution, or dosha. The three doshas, vata, pitta and kapha, are combinations of the five elements, earth, water, fire, air and ether, and govern different aspects of our physical and mental well-being. According to Ayurveda, Disease occurs when there's an imbalance in these doshas. The beauty of Ayurveda lies in its personalized approach to healing. An Ayurvedic practitioner will assess your unique constitution and any imbalances, then create a tailored treatment plan. This plan might include dietary changes, herbal remedies, lifestyle adjustments, and specific yoga or meditation practices. For example, someone with an excess of pita, fire, might be advised to eat cooling foods and engage in calming activities, while someone with excess vata, air, might benefit from grounding foods and practices. One of the key principles of Ayurveda is the importance of digestion, not just of food, but of all our experiences. It teaches that proper digestion is crucial for maintaining health and preventing disease. Ayurvedic treatments often include methods to improve digestion and eliminate toxins from the body, such as oil pulling, tongue scraping, and panchakarma, a detailed cleansing and rejuvenation protocol. Three, energy healing. Energy healing is based on the idea that we are all made up of energy and that this energy flows through our bodies in specific patterns. When this energy becomes blocked or imbalanced, it can lead to physical, emotional, or mental health issues. Energy healing techniques aim to restore the smooth flow of energy throughout the body, promoting healing and overall well-being. Some popular forms of energy healing include Reiki, Qigong and Healing Touch. In a typical energy healing session, the practitioner acts as a channel for healing energy, which they direct to the recipient. This energy is believed to come from a universal source and is not the personal energy of the practitioner. The recipient usually lies down fully clothed while the practitioner places their hands on or near the body in specific positions. Many people report feeling sensations of warmth, tingling, or deep relaxation during these sessions. While the mechanisms of energy healing are not fully understood by modern science, many people find these treatments to be deeply relaxing and beneficial. 4. Visualization and Affirmations The power of the mind to influence the body is a well-documented phenomenon. Visualization and affirmations are techniques that harness this power for healing. Visualization involves creating detailed mental images of health and wellness, while affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself to reinforce healing beliefs. These techniques work by reprogramming your subconscious mind, which plays a significant role in your physical health. When you visualize, 
you're essentially giving your body a blueprint for health. For example, if you're dealing with a specific health issue, you might visualize your body healing itself, picturing healthy cells replacing damaged ones. The more vivid and detailed your visualization, the more powerful it can be. It's important to engage all your senses in this process. Imagine not just what health looks like, but what it feels like, sounds like, even smells like. Regular practice of visualization can help reduce stress, boost your immune system, and even speed up physical healing processes. Affirmations work hand in hand with visualization by reinforcing positive beliefs about your health. These are simple, present tense statements that you repeat to yourself regularly. For example, my body is strong and healthy, or I am healing more and more every day. The key is to choose affirmations that resonate with you and to repeat them with feeling and conviction. Over time, these positive statements can help shift your beliefs about your health, which in turn can influence your physical well-being. 5. Sound Therapy Sound has been used as a healing tool in various cultures for thousands of years, from the chanting of mantras in ancient India to the use of singing bowls in Tibet, sound has long been recognized for its ability to influence our physical and emotional states. Modern sound therapy builds on these traditions, using specific frequencies and rhythms to promote healing and well-being. The basic principle behind sound therapy is that everything in the universe, including our bodies, vibrates at specific frequencies. When we're in a state of health, our body maintains a harmonious frequency Disease, on the other hand, is seen as a state of disharmony. There are many different forms of sound therapy. Some involve passive listening, such as sessions where you lie down and listen to singing bowls, tuning forks, or specially composed music. Others are more interactive, involving chanting, toning, making long vocal sounds, or playing instruments. Each of these methods aims to bring your body back into a state of harmony. For example, binaural beats, which involve playing slightly different frequencies in each ear, can help induce specific brainwave states associated with deep relaxation or heightened focus. 6. Breath work. Breathing is something we do automatically, yet most of us don't use our full breathing capacity. Breath work involves consciously changing your breathing pattern to improve physical and mental health. It's a powerful tool for healing because it directly affects our nervous system which in turn influences every aspect of our health. By learning to control your breath, you can reduce stress, increase energy, improve digestion, boost your immune system, and even help manage chronic pain. There are many different breathwork techniques, each with its own benefits. One simple yet effective technique is diaphragmatic breathing, also known as belly breathing. This involves breathing deeply into your abdomen rather than shallowly into your chest. To practice, place one hand on your chest and the other on your belly. As you inhale, feel your belly expand while your chest remains relatively still. This type of breathing activates the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting relaxation and healing. 7. Emotional release. Our emotions play a crucial role in our physical health. Unresolved emotional issues or traumas can manifest as physical symptoms or diseases, Emotional release techniques aim to identify and release these stored emotions, freeing up energy for healing. One popular method is the Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT, also known as tapping. This involves tapping on specific acupressure points while focusing on emotional issues. Many people find that this practice helps release long-held emotional pain and reduces physical symptoms. Journaling is another powerful tool for emotional release Writing about your feelings, especially difficult or traumatic experiences, can help process and release them. Studies have shown that expressive writing can improve both physical and mental health. When journaling for healing, try to write freely without censoring yourself. Focus on your deepest thoughts and feelings, and don't worry about grammar or spelling. The act of putting your emotions into words can help you gain new perspectives and release pent-up feelings. Sometimes emotional release work is best done with the support of a trained therapist. Techniques like EMDR, eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, or somatic experiencing can help process and release trauma stored in the body. These methods recognize that trauma isn't just stored in our minds, but in our physical bodies as well. 
By addressing both the mental and physical aspects of emotional pain, these techniques can lead to profound healing. Remember, emotional release work can sometimes bring up intense feelings. Be gentle with yourself and don't hesitate to seek professional support if needed. 8. Diet and Nutrition The food we eat plays a crucial role in our health and healing. Every bite we take either nourishes our bodies or potentially harms them. A healing diet typically focuses on whole, unprocessed foods that provide the nutrients our bodies need to function optimally. This often includes a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, healthy fats, and whole grains. These foods are rich in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber, all of which support our body's natural healing processes. In addition to eating nourishing foods, it's equally important to identify and eliminate foods that may be causing harm. Many people find that they have sensitivities to certain foods, such as gluten, dairy, or processed sugar. These sensitivities can lead to inflammation in the body, which is at the root of many chronic diseases. An elimination diet, where you remove potential trigger foods for a period of time, and then slowly reintroduce them, can help you identify which foods work best for your body. 9. Nature Immersion In our modern technology-driven world, we often forget that we are part of nature, not separate from it. Spending time in nature can have profound healing effects on both our bodies and minds. Studies have shown that time in nature can lower stress hormones, reduce blood pressure, boost immune function, and improve mood. One specific practice that has gained popularity in recent years is forest bathing, or Shinrin-yoku. This Japanese practice involves mindfully spending time in a forest environment using all your senses to connect with nature. Grounding, also known as earthing, is another simple yet powerful healing practice. This involves direct physical contact with the earth's surface, such as walking barefoot on grass or sand. The theory behind grounding is that it allows your body to absorb the earth's natural, subtle electrical charge. This is believed to have antioxidant effects, reducing inflammation in the body. While more research is needed, many people report feeling more balanced and energized after grounding practices. Sunlight is another crucial element of nature that plays a vital role in our health. Sunlight exposure helps our bodies produce vitamin D, regulates our circadian rhythms, and can even boost our mood. Of course, it's important to practice safe sun exposure to avoid skin damage. Even just 10-15 minutes of morning sunlight can have beneficial effects. When spending time in nature, try to engage all your senses. Notice the colors and textures around you. Listen to the sounds of birds or rustling leaves. Feel the air on your skin and breathe in the scents of plants and earth. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.